You ever sit there staring at messy code, bugs everywhere and think, Yeah, we've been there too. That's why we started using Claude Code. It's like having a smart teammate right inside your terminal, helping you clean up, build faster, and actually enjoy coding again. In this video, we're diving into what it's actually like to use Claude Code. No fluff, just real stuff we tried, fixed, and built. We'll show you where it shines, what surprised us, and how it might just make your workflow smoother. When we got started with Claude Code, we didn't throw it into a simple project. We tested it on actual code bases, the kind that evolve over months and pile up all kinds of issues. What made Claude stand out right away was how well it handled reading everything in the project. It doesn't just stop at one file. It goes top down, starts from the folders, and reads through connected logic. We were surprised how fast it grasped our project structure without us guiding it much. We had one project, a task manager API built with Express. It had weak validation and mixed coding styles. Normally it would take someone hours to fully go through and understand what's going on. Claude scanned the entire code base in one go. It came back pointing out security issues like unprotected routes, bad JWT tokens, even improper error handling that returned the same 500 status every time. That wasn't something we were actively checking, so seeing it pop up like that helped us realize it sees things we skip over. What we liked most is that it doesn't just throw a list of problems at you and walk away. It explains what's wrong, why it matters, and how to fix it. Like one case where it said our token exposed too much user info and it showed how to reduce that without breaking anything else. That part really made us take it seriously. Once Claude starts working, that's where it gets interesting. We didn't just want feedback. We wanted to see if it could take action. So we gave it a real world UI change to handle. We had this Next.js app with a layout that needed a new chat button and a chat history section added to the sidebar. What happened next was kind of eye-opening. We didn't point it to a specific file. We just told it what to do. Claude found the right components, made the edits, and even updated the logic to handle saving states. Just listen to this sound. Our terminal updated file after file. Claude showing the changes step by step. Then it paused and asked if we wanted to commit. That's when you realize it isn't just coding for you. It's working with you. When we checked the app afterward, the new features were in place. We clicked through it, added new chats, and the layout worked fine. No missing pieces, no broken views. That's the kind of coding support we didn't even know we needed until it happened. We wanted to see if Claude could handle something more serious, like reviewing a whole backend. So we gave it our Express app again, this time with the goal of cleaning it up completely. Not just bugs, but things that affect security and long-term performance. It didn't disappoint. Claude found things like mixing var, let, and const inconsistent function styles, missing input validation, and hard-coded values in our controllers. It also flagged missing rate limits and exposed routes. Most tools will stop after spotting the errors, but Claude took it a step further. It rewrote those parts, updated headers, added input checks, and gave us clean, simple versions of each function. What we didn't expect was how much it actually changed. Like, trimming names, checking email formats, and setting min and max lengths. We've been putting off these tasks thinking we'd do them later, but Claude just handled it, and it didn't break anything else in the process. It also touched the auth middleware. Before, we were using custom headers for tokens, which we knew was bad. Claude updated that to use the standard authorization header, verified tokens correctly, and added better error responses. That small change alone made our backend more stable. It made us realize how much we overlook when we're moving fast. Once it cleaned up all the main issues, we didn't stop there. We wanted to see how deep Claude could go. So we asked it again, are there any other issues? That question triggered another wave of updates. And this time it added files we didn't even think about before, like a test suite, config files for ESLint, Prettier, and even a new readme file. It didn't just stop with files. It wrote working tests, set up input validators, added helper functions, and even created this for environment variables. These were things that make a real difference when you're scaling an app, but we often ignore them early on. What made this part impressive was how Claude changed things without getting in the way. It didn't rewrite everything or try to be fancy, it just improved what was there. If we had to write all that ourselves, we would have needed days, not minutes. 
Another thing we discovered later was the option to create custom commands. If you keep asking it to update docs or review a GitHub issue, you can save that as a command in a folder. We had one for checking updated endpoints and another for reviewing new functions. Claude picked those up and let us call them with a single slash command. That small change actually made our work feel lighter. Fewer things to type, fewer things to remember. This helped the most when we started using it for test-driven development. We created a prompt with tags like this. Claude used those and built test cases before the code itself. Then it implemented what was needed to pass the test. That workflow turned out more stable than we expected, especially when we didn't want to write all tests from scratch. After months of using Claude code, what we realize is that it fits best when you're looking for more than quick suggestions. It becomes part of the way you code. It reads your project, understands context, and works with you. If you're the kind of developer who prefers working inside a terminal and likes staying close to your code without distractions, this tool feels natural. So if you're thinking about trying it out, we'd say, go ahead, see what it can do. Let us know if you have any further questions or would like to share your thoughts in the comments below. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.